Dennis James at FIBO 2000, your bodybuilding career has really taken off in the last couple of years. Tell us about it, Dennis. Yeah, um, since I went over to uh, NPC, I had, uh, actually had a hard time adding my pro card, which I did at the uh, 98 uh, Mr. USA when I won the overall. From then on, I turned pro and uh, at my pro debut in New York at the 90 Champions in 99. Kind of, um, uh, I don't want to say over diet, I kind of screwed up my diet the last 48 hours and uh, ended up placing 14, which I wasn't happy about at all. Actually, I was pretty depressed and then I promised uh, to everybody, especially to myself, that uh, in uh, 2000, I want to make up for what I did wrong in 98 and 99, which I successfully did at the uh, Arnold's. First of all, I did the Ironman before the Arnold's. I placed seventh at the Ironman, which I wasn't too happy about, but I timed uh, uh, my, my schedule was the Arnold's, so I, I tried, tried to peak at the Arnold's, which I did, and I uh, placed fourth, which was, uh, for me, like winning the show. To be in the top five means you qualify for the Olympia which I finally did, and I promised to myself five years ago I want to be at, you know, on the Mr. Olympia stage in the year 2000. So uh, two weeks after the Arnold's, I went to Hungary and did the Grand Prix over there and placed third. So actually I qualified twice. So and since uh, March, I took some time off to take, you know, give my body enough rest. And uh, I will start preparing, start training for the Olympia next week. And uh, hopefully I can uh, crack the top 10 or the top six at the Olympia, but my target is the top 10, you know, anything better than 9 is a win for me. Well, many congratulations, I mean, obviously it's, it's wonderful for you, but you make it difficult for yourself because you, you live in two places at once, don't you? You spend half the year in one place and half in the other. Yeah, I mean, I uh, basically live in Thailand and uh, my off-season training is always in Thailand. And then uh, just before the contest, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I leave Thailand for the United States. But I think it's not it's, it's not a big problem to be being you know being so far away from the make of the sport because once you know once you know your body you know you can train all over the world. It's just that you have to be uh, dedicated and uh, if you got your mind focused on on the show, no matter where you train. See, Dorian trained in England for uh, all his life. He never went to the states, and he still you know that's why I was, I was surprised when I won the USA. I came from Thailand as a no no uh, as a no name. And still won the USA, so uh, that, that don't mean nothing wherever you come from. So you can get the right diet wherever you are. Yeah, as long as you as long as you are in shape, just let the body and you know let the body do the talking. Uh huh. And so it looks at the moment as if you're peaking twice a year. Is that right? I'm uh, trying. Yeah, actually, I think twice a year. Yeah, it's the Arnold's in uh, in uh, February and the Olympia in October, which I think is not a, a, a big problem. It would be a problem if the shows would be closer together like the Arnold's or the NOC. Mm. But I think uh, if you got like seven months in between, I think it's no, pro it's no problem to peak again mm. and even improve. Mm. Which this is what I want to do. Not just peak again, but be better. So you're purely teaching yourself as the years go by to get better. You don't have a training partner. No, I never. I, I do have training partners sometimes, but I basically I train by myself because I don't want to rely on nobody. A training partner. I only need a training partner if it's uh, if it, if it's an uh, uh, advantage. If it's not, then I'd rather be by myself. Mm. But uh, I never had a nutritionist or anything like this. But this year, I must say, I worked with. Uh, actually, I didn't work with him, but he helped me a lot. Milo Sachev, he told me, uh, he showed me how to carb deplete and carb load. This, this is what I always. This is where I messed up all the years. And uh, I believe Milos because he's got like 69 or 70 pro shows, so he should know, and he really does. And he. Uh, He's not. He's not. He's not worried about telling other people what to do. Right. Actually, we had a lot of fun. He helped me a lot, and he made me peak. Mm -hmm. That was his. his that was Mills' thing. <laughs> but I, I wrote it down, so it's all on paper. So I won't forget. I will do the same thing again. Great. Uh, Milos is getting on in years, and he's in his late thirties, isn't he? How old are you? Oh, I'm thirty. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be thirty-one in three weeks. Well, that's great because it means you've got many years in front of you to beat them all. I hope I don't need that long. <laughs> <laughs> But I think, yeah, definitely about five, six more years. Yeah. But uh, hopefully I can stay on top in the next five years. That way I can do something in the sport when I'm ready to retire and still can do something like doing a gym, another gym maybe in Bangkok. Or Right now, I don't know. I just want to be uh, in the top ten at the Olympia coming up uh, in October.
But would you advise any young bodybuilder, it's not a question of hitting the top in a period of two years, it does take a long time. Yeah, it's all about genetics, you know, and dedication, you know. A lot of people have genetics and it's a great talents, but they don't know what to do with it. So, you know, what I would say is to stay focused, be dedicated, and, uh, and either way you'll get there, you know, one way or the other. Some, you know, some, you know, sometimes, some people they need a, a couple years, some people they need like, 10 to 20 and some need like three to four mm. it's all up to you just make sure you stay focused and dedicated and you yeah. get there that's the most difficult thing is staying focused and having the self-discipline to do it isn't I it no i know but that that's why you know this sport is not for everybody yeah. if everybody would be disciplined and dedicated and and, and, and and you know and bringing along the genetics then we all would look the same mm. it would be hard for the judges then because yeah. there would be like 200 people on stage yeah. Well, thank you very much. It's great talking to you. All the very best for October, and we hope certainly to see you in the top five. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. <laughs>